morning. I recorded probably about 20 minutes worth of footage today already and I just deleted it because there's no reason anybody needs to see that. That was insane. So good morning. It is Monday, beginning of the week. We're going to start off fresh by retrying the same recipe, re um, sourdough recipe that I tried last week. The one that worked out and was actually successful. It wasn't perfect, but it was successful. And I do that with little quotations. The little quotations. I don't need both. Just the little ones because it was pretty good. It was pretty tasty and airy and it did its thing. And it's not too bad. So last night, however, I made a boo-boo. So I wanted to feed my sourdough starter and have it have it proof overnight I cleaned out my the the actual container like I washed out the actual container that the sourdough starter has been in because I have read I mean obviously the sourdough starter containers get a little bit gross after a while but I have read that you do need to clean it out once in a while which makes sense because you don't actually you don't want mold growing in there you want the good bacteria right so I did that. I cleaned it all out yesterday, soaked it. I was already doing all the dishes yesterday anyway, so I figured I might as well add that to my list of things. And I did. And then I got overly ambitious and figured that I would try feeding it with a scale without any guidance from anybody else because I know what I'm doing. And that is where I went wrong. Let me show you. So I left my sourdough starter in the oven all night and it has exploded and went back down so so this is what I'm left with there's some crusty sourdough starter down here my lid oh my god my lid literally just peeled right off with all of these ugh, crusties everywhere I'm really hoping that I didn't just ruin my sourdough starter oh my god um, because it is like liquid. It is pure liquid. There's no. I can't use that anymore. I watched this on a video. So if you like use it again, your bread will turn soft. So we should not use that. Oh, okay. okay? Don't okay. use it. Well, I'm, I'm going to fix it though. That's what okay. I'm going to do. Well, if it does work, then we have to pour it out, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna try and fix it. I don't, I, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get, so I'm gonna get like a random, a random cup. I'm gonna put a little bit of my sourdough starter. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna mix it up first, make sure all the good bacteria is in there. Watch your fingers. You're too small. It is so thin. It is definitely overproofed. However, I mean, it is good because it, it does mean that it did rise last night. So my, so what happened last night is that I literally, I, so I cleaned this all off, which apparently I'm going to have to do again, which whatever, it is what it is. Um, I cleaned this all off and then I put my sourdough starter into there and I didn't realize that it weighed so much that by the time I used my scales to actually feed the sourdough starter, it was full up to here. So there was no room to rise, which is why I put it in this container <laughs> in my oven so that all of that spill didn't happen in my oven because I knew, I just knew that this was going to happen. But I couldn't, I also couldn't get rid of my sourdough starter because I've been working on this for like a month. I need this, I, I want, I want to have this sourdough starter for years, you know? So I have this Mom. mug, which by the way is the funniest freaking mug. That's <laughs> why the dinosaurs. We're not a religious family either, which is why it's funny. Anyway, so I'm going to put some of my starter in here. I'm going to do that. And then unfortunately, we're going to discard the rest of this. Bye-bye. I'll be right back after I wash it. Okay, so I had to let it soak, which I guess is fine. Rowan and I played the Switch for a little while, and I totally kicked his butt. And we're going to play again. Yep, we're going to keep playing. So I got it nice and clean. I really hope, I really hope that clean, like, I mean, it's gotta be part of it, right? Is keeping this jar that you keep your starter or the jars uh, that you keep your starter in clean is supposed to be kind of the whole, 
Like it's part of the process, I believe. I really hope I didn't ruin my starter and my whole thing. Like did I clean it too soon? I don't know. Like it seems, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of frustrating that the first time I actually went ahead and cleaned my starter bowl, it exploded and went a little crazy. So we are now going to, going to try again. <laughs> We're going to try again. So I have this jar. It's nice and clean. We're going to get the scale and I'm going to try the scale again. You're supposed to feed a one to one to one ratio. That's the whole thing. So, okay. So this is my scale. It is on. I'm going to put this in the, on there. I'm going to zero it out. And we're going to add, water? I'm going to add water first because I'm, I'm going to try this, okay? I don't, maybe I'm totally ruining my sourdough, but let's, let's try this. Okay. Hold on. Why did it, maybe my scale's no good. Zero. Okay. Water. I want to put 100, I have 95, 98, 110. Oh, it's going into the water. Is it floating? No, it's not floating. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely overproofed. 80, So that it gets all nice and dissolved inside the water. And now I need to zero it out again and add 100 grams of flour. Now, I don't know if I'm screwing this up by using all-purpose flour. A lot of people use all-purpose flour and do just fine, so I don't know. Let me check. Is that one month? At 30? No, hold on. Let me... 47, 48, 60, 60, 82, 82, 92, I don't want to go over 100, 100, okay, I'm going to have to start buying bread flour in larger quantities and all-purpose flour in smaller quantities, I think, uh, I think that's going to have to be what changes around here. So that's all stirred up. I'm going to, where's my lid? Oh, I didn't wash the lid. So I have it right here. This is all just from stirring, but this is where it's sitting right now. So this is where my sourdough is. On here, everything's nice and clean. There's no bad bacteria in there. Hopefully there's still good bacteria in there and I didn't totally ruin all of my hard work. I would be really upset if I did that. But. We move on, we do what we can. Yeah. So I can do it so much. So it's five o'clock and it has only gone up to about there. You can't really see, but it's right about there. I have to take it out of the oven because I want to make some croutons. So let's make some croutons with last week's loaf of bread. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was looking at him earlier. But I don't want to miss. 
get some bacon and some. Gonna have to be making some recipes with all the stuff that's in that garden soon. I'm pretty sure peas are past their point. Peas are past their point. I'm pretty sure they uh, have all been picked by Peter Pepper. Pa 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 See, I fucked up. I tried. I tried to do it on purpose and it didn't work. Anyways, I am gonna have to find some recipes for some pickles because holy shit, there's a lot of freaking pickles out there. A lot of big pickles out there. There they are. 15 minutes. Toasty, toasty, roasty, toasty. Let them cool. And you've got fucking croutons. Delicious. Wonderful. Amazing. Awesome. Please out of the put these in the salad, obviously. Anthony wants to bring these to some co-workers. But we have some um cayenne peppers. Cayenne peppers. These are cayenne peppers. And some jalapenos. These are delicious. I'm gonna let them cool while I make a salad. I'm going to make a salad for me and Actually, Daryl probably have one too. Anthony's barbecuing some chops that I literally, all I did was marinate them in Italian seasoning all day. And they are now on the barbecue. Those are probably gonna be freaking bomb. If you've never done that before, just take, you can do it with chicken too. Um, just take some literal, like just literally just Italian chops. Literally just take some Italian dressing. I just have this craft zesty Italian that I probably bought because it was on sale. And it's not bad on salads and stuff, but I love to use it to cook with. You can even just use it as, because it does have oil in it, when you are, saying frying some chunks of chicken in the frying pan, like say you're gonna make like a stir fry or something, put the Italian dressing in there as your oil instead of olive oil, fry away. And it's absolutely delicious. I like it a lot, actually. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that in the winter's is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue And this sense can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew How much I miss Barbecue and burgers. Read my book. I have a big feeling that this book is going to crush me. I really, I'm like 30% of the way through and I'm pretty sure. I just dropped this everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's gonna crush me. So that's cool. That's cool. Anyways, having a springs. Read my book. Barbecue and burgers. Life's pretty good, not gonna lie. Anyways, cheers.